Hey everybody, Christian from Treasure Town here, and today we're going to be talking about the top 10 double die obverse shield scents. Now, these coins exhibit some doubling somewhere on the coin. I picked the best ones for this series because a lot of people don't think that the 2010 to today pennies are worth too much. There's some that are a little more well known, there's others that are more minor, but all of these sort of stood out in my mind, and I figured were worthy of putting on this top 10 list. So, with that being said, I've got some clear photos, estimates on the values, and an explanation waiting for you. Let's get into the presentation. And before we get into the top 10, I just want to say that these coins are not double struck. Instead, the dies that are used to strike the coins exhibit doubling. So every coin that is struck with one of these dies will have this same form of doubling, just a important thing to clear up. Um, in terms of our first one, it's gonna be a 2011 coin. There's some pretty significant um, doubling. You can see it, you know, it's not really as much of like a spread and very few of these coins will be uh, due to the new uh, die production process, but you can see some significant extra thickness and you know in the sort of northeast southwest direction it presents really nicely through the two the zero and then especially on some of the lettering like the O um, this one is you know it can be certified at ANAX um, it the price estimates are pretty challenging to come by um, but these were a little bit less than some of the estimates given at coppercoins.com um, and Chuck Daughtry the owner of that generally has a good pulse on the varieties market so here's what we're working with uh, so $125 in mint state 65 red as opposed to like one cent is a pretty good deal and these are probably relatively plentiful um, just with the amount that are out there um, though it'll be tough to find them uh, in circulation um, just as a result of the 2011s you know it's not like you can go through a ton of rolls they're existing less and less these days this one is a second double die that's significantly less expensive but there's still some pretty good a little bit of notching or just like separation in terms of the uh, the e sort of at the bottom left parts of the later letters in liberty uh, way extra thick and then also this time having more of a northwest southeast spread um, on the zero and then the one and the one a little bit of notching there but it's not as uh, clear as in some of the uh, earlier uh, types of double dies um, there's a 2014 coin here that's pretty expensive mint state 65 is a 250 dollar find this is the only one on this list that is recognized in the cherry pickers guide though perhaps some of the other ones will end up making it on in the next uh, years or decades but this 2014 coin exhibits extreme extra thickness uh, through the two and the zero and really all the lettering you can see it in the liberty as well but it's almost being fully stretched i really like that zero it almost looks like a dome or a 3d effect um, because of how doubled it is um, but it's not like you're seeing the 1955 where it's like the class one separation um, anyways this one like i mentioned 250 bucks for a mint state 65 coin uh, really nice for a variety that's only six or seven years old um, then this one or i should say eight um, this one is a second 2014 variety but you can see um, one of the markers is how the four looks sort of really distorted um, that's not the doubling itself it's more of this spread the extra thickness that goes left to right through this um you know through the date and many of the other parts but the date is where it's most easily seen this one's pretty cheap from the price estimates that i could find and can be certified at ngc um, hence the vp001 then the following year also has a pretty significant doubled variety in a very similar manifestation um, this one's certifiable again at ngc and has a clear spread to the southeast northwest um, here the zero you know is really um, clear but i think all through the different lettering uh, it's very apparent that this coin has been doubled uh, and the values do hold up and again all of these values are sort of just shaking out right now varieties are strong and i am hesitant to sort of say that these are worth so much more just so that i don't mislead people but if these have the prominence of their counterparts from many years earlier and do prove to be rare as more cherry pickers are looking through their coins you know these could definitely explode in price this one is a less 
important. Uh, one in the sense that it's not certified at either NGC or PCGS, but still really nice distortion. You can see the strong doubling um, tilting toward the northeast there, top of the two, top of the zero, um, and then through the LIB lettering. Uh, this one's worth a fraction of the previous one probably because of the less recognition, but a really nice example. Um, there's also the 2018, which again, we can see the B stretched out, same thing in the E, um, a bit in the 2018 numbering, um, and this one sort of has a mid-range value, uh, at least Chuck Daughtry also thinks so, um, and then 2018D is one of the more, there's minimal price history on this one, I've heard massive swings in estimates, but was reported um, there's a nice double die obverse. Only one of these has been certified by NGC. I think that there's a few more ANAX, but a nice doubled ear. So you can see that second earlobe sort of protruding from beneath. Um, and that's probably significant because there hadn't been any major doubled ears in a while. So that's a nice coin. Um, and then we've got this double die obverse where you can see it again in the Y, you know, significant extra thickness towards the ends of Liberty R, T, and Y. Um, and then again, that little spread in the N, um, a significantly extra thick N in the In God We Trust values are a little bit more muted, but still worthy of inclusion today. Um, there's a second double die that is really, you know, I just thought that stood out because it reminds me of some of the earlier ones, major extra thickness in the direction. The 9 is normally quite thick, but it's more so in this case. Uh, check out the 2 and the 0, though. So that's certainly worthy of inclusion on this list. A really nice coin that you should be on the lookout for. That concludes today's presentation. You know, a wide variety of different varieties on these shield scents. Um, this is probably the king of them all, though I really like the 2015 uh, as well as the 2018D doubled ear. So with that being said, yeah, again, enjoy this video. Check out, I'm going to do a video on the reverses as well, and I'll hope to see you soon on some of my other similar videos. Thanks for watching the video. I'd encourage you to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to stay updated. I've also got Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, so you can follow me there. Um, TreasureTownYT.com is the main channel website. Definitely give that a visit. I've got a lot of information about me up there and the channel. Uh, CoinGrabBag.com as well currently redirects there, but it's some good opportunities for very fair grab bags, both made by me and other sellers. A lot of different options, so that's a good way to support. Um, there's also TreasureTownCoins.com. In the future, my coin dealing uh, operation will be done out of that website. Uh, CoinMeltPrice.com for updates on the melt prices of your coins, both U.S. and world. World, a lot of resources in that website and then coins metals cards.com being developed right now as a marketplace and news source for coins metals cards and collectibles in general so i'll see you on my future videos looking forward to seeing you there and hope you have a good day